I think I might have something equally, if not more, inspiring for you now. We're doing a little bit of a shift in the program uh, and bringing our next guest on a little early. Uh, from Olympians to musicians uh, and musicians to senators. The senator uh, is off doing senatorial duties, but we'll be back shortly. In the meantime, however, uh, I'd very much like you to meet uh, Connie Lim, a special musical talent and an activist, also known as Milk. Uh, Connie is a recording artist, a writer, producer, and advocate. In 2017, her song, Quiet, went viral, becoming Billboard's number one protest song of the year. Um, her recent songs, Somebody Beloved and I Belong, were written in response to the increase of racial injustice in the United States over the last few years. Welcome, Connie. Very good to have Thank you Thank you so much. Uh, I love seeing, you've got like your pro mic there and your <laughs> pro headphones. Look like you know what you're doing. You got your Zeppelin t-shirt. Now we're like, we could be friends. Uh, yes, I'm <laughs> glad you noticed. Oh, yeah. I was I, just, yeah, every time I wear the shirt, I have I put on uh, some Zeppelin music to get in the mood and justify why I can wear this shirt. Okay, for all... <laughs> for so all, nice to meet you. Very good to meet you. All the Zeppelin fans out there in the audience, now is the time to jump in the chat and argue about your favorite Zeppelin album, <laughs> okay, or your favorite Zeppelin oh. song. I am looking at the chat. I expect to see some responses. <laughs> um, let's start uh, just with the moment that happened to you, uh, which is encapsulated by the song Quiet. Tell, tell, tell us what happened there um, when that uh, came out of nowhere and, and sort of, you know, thrust you into the spotlight. Absolutely. So uh, for those of you who are getting to know me at this very moment, um, I wrote a song called Quiet, and it was my own song of healing and um, really reckoning with the story I was telling myself from um, the, there was a difficult time in my life where I experienced abuse and sexual assault, and I had this narrative that it was my fault, and Quiet was a song of me reclaiming my voice and basically telling myself that it wasn't my fault and that I do deserve to have a place to tell my story and to heal. And um, I ended up writing a, a choir piece where there's a seven part harmony and I invited a bunch of strangers to sing it with me on the streets of DC in 2017 um, at the Women's March. And it was really about a time of being able to come together and to harmonize. I, I say this often that harmony is a really good exercise of learning how to trust myself to sing a note while others sing their own unique notes. And then together with that trust and self-expression, we create something really beautiful. And so um, Alma Harrell, who is a frequent collaborator of Procter & Gamble's as well, um, happened to walk by and film on her cell phone and the song um, and video went viral through her Twitter and Facebook accounts. And um, I, I completely um, was just floored by the reaction um, because this was such a personal song for my own journey. Um, somehow it uh, resonated with millions of people in their own journeys of finding and uncovering their voices. Um, and so it, just, it catapulted me into um, signing a major record deal and um, meeting some of the world's greatest leaders. And Alma and I didn't know each other before the, she filmed me on the streets, but we ended up uh, collaborating and she brought me on to do um, the Ooh Child cover that was in a Procter & Gamble Olympics commercial for the last Olympics uh, season. And it, that song completely changed my life. And what I learned was that I'm not alone in the journey of trying to uncover my inner voice. Um, and it's helped me grow so much as an artist and an activist because music at first was an isolated form of healing for me, just like really personal. And I'm realizing that there's art has such a power of bringing us together and, um, and really reclaiming uh, the beauty that is inherent in all of us. Yeah, we, I, I, 
I guess I just didn't realize that that was Alma's account uh, that Quiet broke out <laughs> on. Alma uh, spoke here at Signal uh, at our last live event. Uh, she was here on the oh, Signal wonderful. stage. Um, uh, she's a force. I mean, what an extraordinary, <laughs> what, what an extraordinary um, serendipity to, to have her <laughs> swing by with her iPhone and capture that moment at the Women's March. Um, and you mentioned that uh, what came of that, uh, out of many things, I'm sure, was a major label signing. Um, we've been talking throughout the day about the changes in the media world, the entertainment world, um, and you've been part of that because you left your label. Uh, I did. And, and you made that very difficult choice that uh, sometimes artists are afraid to make of going out on your own and sort of becoming, uh, you know, uh, Milk Incorporated, I guess you could say, <laughs> you know, running your own business, right? Um, Absolutely. Uh, and you're finding new ways to work. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think, you know, this pandemic, uh, you know, a lot of people use the word apocalypse, and apocalypse uh, also means uh, an uncovering and a revealing. And what this period of time did for me uh, was revealed to me what my values were. And I absolutely loved and respected my process and experience with uh, the record label I was with. I also felt this yearning within me to um, find a different rhythm with my art and my business. I think sometimes, um, in in like mainstream major systems for entertainment sometimes it can happen where the artist gets a little pulled away from the process of of the art making and i really wanted to get more intimate with my business and my creative process so i'm actually finding a new way of being able to sustain my art making and also um, the process of marketing my music and it, it is like partnering with companies like procter and gamble and i even when i say company i actually think of good company right mm. like having good company at my house like people who i relate with and who i've built a relationship with over the past five years almost um getting to know um, Allison Tumman and Mark Pritchard at Procter & Gamble and really delving into the values that we overlap. Um, and so I created um, the Somebody's Beloved Fund, which was inspired by the racial justice movement that's really you know, blossoming into um, high potential change. And uh, Procter & Gamble has been really willing to help me um, share my music and um, funnel the energy that comes from the songs into somebodysbeloved.com where we celebrate the 10 racial justice orgs that we so deeply love and um, also create more art to help people reflect on um, racial healing and how we each can take a creative and joyful and innovative role in the movement towards more peace and justice. And as I understand it, um, you've worked with uh, p and and others uh, to roll out the, your most latest, your latest single, I Belong, is that correct? Um, absolutely, yeah. I Belong um, felt like my own reclamation of this time of feeling like, do I belong here with the increased hate of the AAPI community and, you know, there was the rise of the hate and also the rise of the allyship and the support. And um, when PNG, when I sent this song to um, Mark Pritchard and Allison and the teams at uh, PNG, there was this conversation that started happening of like perhaps we can partner. And you know this has never been done before, so it's very innovative and exciting. Is Parker and Gamble, Gamble helped me release. Um, I belong by, um, you know, engaging in social media campaigns on Snapchat and also just really supporting um, the music video creation. I had complete agency in telling my story. And I think that was, that meant a lot to me because I had developed a relationship of trust with 
uh, Procter and Gamble, and um, they trusted that the story I wanted to tell in reaction to all the increased hate was something that they could get behind. Right. And so, yeah, we've been sharing the music video um, on a lot of different channels, and that would not be possible without Procter and Gamble's belief in the message. And and um, I'm very very proud of this partnership. Well, I I would say that everyone in the audience could you know, go click on a link and watch the video, but maybe they could hear you sing it now? I would love to. I'd love to sing for you all. Um, uh, I would. I came up with an acoustic guitar rendition, so yeah, let's, let's do that. Awesome, let's hear it. All right, thanks for the great conversation too. Mm -hmm. So the chorus that you'll hear is something I wrote in the bathroom of a recording studio. I was writing with some Grammy winning producers and writers and I felt a little intimidated and I thought, oh man, do I belong here? And so I had to sing a mantra to myself in the restroom. And what I realized was that this imposter syndrome that I felt in that moment uh, perhaps stemmed from something deeper. You know, some of the journey that I've taken as the daughter of immigrants has really had me think about what is home and what is belonging. My hope is that this song can make people feel a deeper sense of belonging, no matter what heritage or culture or background from, because I know we all long for that. And I do believe if we each feel more free to belong here, we can feel more generous and kind and understanding of others. Hope you enjoy it. Ooh, I belong. Ooh, I belong here. Ooh, I belong. I've been doing the most Out of breath just to show That I deserve to be here too But what I'm growing to know Is I've always been home There's nothing more for me to prove Ooh, I belong Ooh, I belong here Ooh, Yeah, we got faulty tapes, looping doubts, looping pain, dusty heirlooms we don't need. But we got what it takes for the cycle to break. Revolution lives in me. Ooh, I belong. Ooh, 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 ooh. I belong here. Ooh. I belong, I belong, no matter where we go, 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 no matter where we've been before, don't have to feel alone, no, no, we're all finding our way home, we belong. We belong to each other No matter where I go I belong No matter where I've been I belong here I'm not alone I belong I'm home I belong Ooh, We belong Thank you. <laughs>
as I understand it, one of the um, one of the folks that was in that group that led to the inspiration for that song was John Legend. Uh, you were working with John Legend uh, on something when you retreated to the bathroom and found that mantra. <laughs> um, you know what? I, it was actually it was actually Raphael Sadiq, but I, I actually have had the pleasure of um, of meeting John Legend and being in the studio with him too. And I did feel that same feeling of like. <laughs> Oh, like that pitter patter, you right. know, in my heart, and then settling into like, okay, I, I belong here too, and I, I hope I can really feel that more and more. Well, I think everyone in the audience certainly felt that. Thank you so much, uh, Connie. Thank you, John. Thank you. Really appreciate it, um, and keep making music. Will do. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to meet you.